All right, hello, and welcome back to the Binge Boys podcast. This week, we're going to talk to you guys about Ryan Reynolds' movie starring Ryan Reynolds playing as Ryan Reynolds in Free Guy. But before we get into Free Dude, we must introduce ourselves, and with you today, my name is Enrique. What's up? It's Eli back again. And here's your boy, T-Max. Guys, I saw the trailers for this, and I said, wow, I'll never watch that. <laughs> That's what I said, too. But now, here I am, after having sat through two hours of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Tristan, what was your thought process behind picking this movie? Well, you know, I was interested. I was kind of interested when I saw the previews, not overly hyped about it. And then, you know, I was looking for some movies. I was looking through HBO Max, you know, because they actually have some decent movies. Pay us or we're going to bleep it next time. Facts. <laughs> uh, and so I was looking. I was like, all right, you know, I saw that it was out here. And I was like, hmm, you know what? I had some interest in this. I'm a fan of Ryan Reynolds uh, and his acting. So I figured why not watch it? And that was my thought process. Has the okay. Ryan Reynolds effect wore off yet? Like... Deadpool 1, I feel like, resurgenced Ryan Reynolds into being this Will Smith, The Rock type character to where he will only play himself now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I would yeah. agree. Have you guys gone to the point where, like, I'm over it? I'm I I like Ryan Reynolds, but I don't think this was this, the best movie for him. I uh, don't think they had anyone on crew who actually played video games. Probably, probably not. not. Yeah, no, Maybe I don't think so. Besides all the fucking pop pop culture Twitch stream fucking dumbass like, choices they dude. made. Conceptually, it didn't make no sense. Half the things that were happening in the game, like how are these how are these AIs doing animations that wouldn't be in the game? How is no one? How are people weirded out that an AI fought back in like a GTA clone? Like. Have you not played GTA before? They fight back all the time. That's why you blap them in the head. I, I, <laughs> How did a guy know, not man. get shot by a player? How did all of these players deal with his bullshit? He did get shot by players, though. That's the thing. Very not, rarely. Yeah, no. Well, in the beginning, just he did. He was just getting blowed all over the place. Then how do you hand-to-hand combat the first person to get their glasses? Got you. Yeah, unless this is fucking, yeah, sorry for something. nerding out, unless this is Elden Ring, I don't think fucking Ryan Reynolds has a chance against the players, but that's just me. You Free got, guy. You, you gotta get him, like, in GTA, it's not happening, bro. If I got this big-ass shotgun, you're getting put down. It's not happening, Ryan Reynolds. Go sit your dumb ass down behind the counter. Like, think yeah. about, like, Payday, right? Like, we, we play video games over here. If it's, like, Payday, and a person does that to us in Payday, what happens when they rush us? Oh, they get oh, they getting smoked. They get fucking shot. Like, <laughs> yeah. don't rush me in the bank because I don't know if you're like a, if you're a spec ops, right? Like, <laughs> I'm just trying to do what. So, Ryan Rose would have got shot three times a Sunday, <laughs> every yeah. time. Um, I did not care for the female protagonist. No, uh, not one bit. I thought it was really weird to me when they started pushing the romance arc. E, that was weird, yeah. With I, her and Ryan Reynolds. And I started to say, you know, maybe this movie is accurate because gamers do have weird social relationships with characters. Uh-huh. So there's that, but then there's also just the whole thing that they were obviously setting up for with that. So I wasn't even mad was, about it. If you didn't see that coming... Uh, yeah, that's a... I don't, uh, who, you might be blind. If you, might, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. if you didn't see that coming, you just you, you quit. I'm surprised it took him that long to Dude. realize... That he programmed that character specifically for her. Like, oh, it just so happens he likes bubblegum. He likes this. <laughs> da, da, da. I, I was like, say, dear lord, bro. I, I, <laughs> I knew it before Steve did, man. <laughs> Steve, yo, who who's trying to convince themselves that that is not a handsome guy? True. Who, yeah. Who's trying to convince us that he's a nerd? Because, like, you guys got to stop doing that. If you really want to do it, I know about four motherfuckers from high school. We could go do it. <laughs> At least, bro. At least one At of them. At least. Me? Oh, I'm just Yeah, you oh, one yeah, of, them. Yeah. of them. I'm two of them. Reach <laughs> is the guy in the chair kind of dude. I am the little Felix dude from Kim Possible. That's me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, dude. 100%. You know how I best could explain this? This movie felt like if you took Reddit and you turned Reddit like uh, to a movie. 
That and was like the best way to do it. Rated you know, PG. You, no, you know what this was like? This was like what they wanted Wreck It Ralph 2 to be, but grown up version. I didn't watch all that shit because it was garbage. No. I'm going to tell you that much. Honest, it was still better than this. I, I didn't like it, but it's still a lot once, better than this, man. It was That's, called Ralph's okay, Break the Internet. Now. It just went to the garbage can for me. I just love lying Wreck It Ralph teeth, 1. Sadly. No, no, this movie sucked just, monkey This dick. is terrible, no, dude, dude. This movie was solid. Bro, come on. You're, You're joking. Me you enjoyed that first hour. Yeah. No way, oh, man. Wow. You enjoyed seeing Jack Septic Eye, Ninja, Pokemon, Dan TDM, and Laser Beam saying, Who I didn't is even know I don't know half those names you just said. Is I, I don't the blue shirt guy. <laughs> Who is that? He is dude. so cool. That, that part never God. happened. That part was whatever. That part was whatever. The closest thing you have to something like this actually happening was recently with Elden Ring, right? There was a guy in Elden Ring. He was running around. He named himself Let Me 1v1 Melania, right? It's a boss in Elden Ring. He got, he got like a couple articles and Reddit posts and shit about him. People were hype about him, right? That was the closest you're going to get. You are not going to get on national news no. a fucking piece on some jabroni running around a game being peaceful. <laughs> Yeah, that, that yeah. some there's a speedrunner doing that in GTA who I won't say his name because he's a jackass piece of shit, but he is doing a pacifist run and no one's talking about it. He just like, he's but just bro, like a little nerd. <laughs> he's leveling up so quick. He deserves all the media attention, Reek. You don't understand. First off, let's be, if that was real as well, he would just pay <laughs> micro transactions. He'd be that's max a, level. <laughs> that's a damn fact. <laughs> he would pull out his credit card, bow two K down, and boom, max level. <laughs> Come on, we've seen two K, cuz. I was in pain. Look, man, this I enjoyed it. I was gonna say something out of pocket. Let me chill out. Uh, <laughs> no, no, let's you, just you say try. I'm glad that they picked Konami as the company they're gonna make fun of, because Konami is a jackass piece of shit. Uh, fuck you, Konami. Let Silent Hill and goddamn Metal Gear Solid go, you piece of shit. <laughs> I also like. I'll give you a pause, okay? I'll trade you a pause on this. Taika Watiti was fantastic. I loved him as Antoine. Ah, uh, because dude, he was entertaining. Because Eli, that's actually how some game developers do. Oh, I know. Like. I yeah, I will say he had an accurate representation. I just thought it was a little cringy. Just well, the, yeah, but that's that was what the they're point. going for. Right? I know, but it was that, awesome. I, I, know. I loved it. That was awesome, dude. I thought that was hilarious. I didn't laugh once in this movie. If I'm gonna I, be honest with you, one time, one time, one time, two times, Joe time, one time. I and, laughed. Oh yeah, you go for it. I laughed at the joke that they when they were talking to the NPCs, and guy goes, "And what about gun violence? You don't got that oh. in your realm, right?" <laughs> and she goes, "No, that's a bad one. We got that too." <laughs> and he goes, "Oh fuck, I didn't see that happening. That was a pretty decent social." I was decent. Joke. No, that, that was decent. That was that really was funny. good. I maybe it was that the best moment in this movie was the first two seconds when Mariah Carey's, Carey's fantasy came on, <laughs> and <laughs> and I, I got very 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 hyped for this movie, and then it just you know didn't you started dancing in your chair a little bit. Yeah, dude, I was hyped, man. I was like, holy shit, and then you know nothing came of that. So I was just watching Rush Hour the other day, bro. I was so hyped to see fantasy. <laughs> we just had a debate, you know, personal life debate. About who's prettier in current day, Mariah Carey or Jennifer Lopez? And now Mariah yeah, Carey is trying to pull away with the Free Guy movie. Yeah, vote, vote <laughs> in the comments, I guess. All I'll say this is, Mariah Carey ain't dating a drunk. <laughs> that that's that part is true. That part is true. I don't mean to diss young Benefer, but you know, <laughs> that dude got a wild. <laughs> uh, he's on. doing his thing while he's doing his thing, you know. His thing is a little bit of Jack, a little bit of rum, and coke. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of fireball, a little bit of that cocaína, you know. <laughs> Glass Dude, table I, boys. I don't know. I, I man, I enjoyed this movie because I I took this with why. A, Why? It was entertaining to me, dude. Why? It was just fun because it was different. Why? <laughs> Look, man, it was fun. I was having fun watching the video game character come to life. They was like, oh, you know, we designed this, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the villain of sorts plot was kind of whatever, but it wasn't supposed to be, I don't think it was supposed to be, like, you know, kill you good, but I enjoyed watching this movie. 
I thought it was entertaining. I like seeing Lil Rel in there. I think he's funny. He didn't have to. I, I, he didn't like do him. much in this movie. No, you know, that's the problem. Get out, Lil Rel. He didn't. He didn't have a great, great script, but he he's still entertaining as a whole. Um, and then I just you know because I look at like Ready Player One, I thought this had a better plot than Ready Player One, but I haven't read the book either, so I don't, I don't know. But I like that they took things a little bit differently. I just I didn't hate watch that. seeing this yeah. fucking concept. I'm over it. No, I agree I've with you, man. I've seen Gamer. I've seen this. I've seen Sword Art Online. I've just, I'm over entering a game and doing shit in a game world. It's so stupid. They try to make it way cooler than it actually would be, right? When I was a little kid, they used to trick me with this. I was like, bro, why are none of the videos that I play like this? Because it's a goddamn movie. It will never be like that. Exactly. See, and that's the problem, too, is like, there's so many pop culture references in movies like this that aren't going to be relevant in five years. So it the movie does not time well. Like That's at the least... weird thing. They picked, besides the fucking content creators, because content creators fall on and off at any point in time. Right. By, yeah. shit, by the time this movie came out, Ninja had already fallen off. Like, yeah. 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 Ninja was popping for like a good year and a half, two years. He and then, a mixer, killed his career. And then, you know, Pokimane got caught doing the crazy stuff. No, she's still popping. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, and nobody she, cares. That's just because she's pretty. I said she's attractive, so nobody cares that she's you a know, racist. I personally wish that she would have said the N-word in this. Yo, what? <laughs> then, it would have made me laugh, I will admit. It would have <laughs> been accurate, because, like, you don't play this and not say gamer words. You know? Like, when a guy yeah. was trying to tell her the joke. About the the cripple and the homosexual. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, that, that uh, yeah. <laughs> that's gamer words. Don't say right that, there. bro. That is, yeah. Like, come don't on. Say that guy. He's like, what man? That's gamer words. <laughs> uh, this movie just felt like I don't know who it was made for. Like, it feels like it was made for people who don't play video games and just kind of know what they are in passing. But then I, I, I say it can't be because those people wouldn't know who a ninja, a jacksepticeye, guy, a Pokemon. Laser beam, tan TV. They wonder who the fuck those people are. But then it real really... gamers wouldn't give a shit about this movie because it's too weird. It's See, just also th- making fun of gamers. Like, I th- I think it's for like the fourteen, fifteen ish age range, like gaming. But it's R rated though. What? Yeah. yeah. That was R rated. Yes. Yeah. Why? Language. Because you're not allowed to say fuck in in Hollywood. Twice. You can say it once in a PG-13. You can say it once in a PG-13 oh, okay. in a non-sexual you know manner. It was PG-13. I'm sorry. You were right, Eli. Oh. I, even so, man. I I don't know. Yeah. I, I guess I could see a PG-13, but this could be PG, and I wouldn't have known the difference, to be honest. I will say this much. It, if you just turn your brain off, I bet it's a good time. But I'm an <laughs> asshole. Me too. We talk about movies all the time in TV shows. We watch too much shit now for good to be good enough yeah uh that's fair there's a lot of content out there that we watch that it's just there's so much to compare it to at this point yeah it's like good's not good enough for us anymore you need to be great to be considered good see and i just took the mindless bit and ran with it i was like you know what i'm gonna watch this for entertainment and i thought i was entertained i wasn't but i knew i wasn't gonna be because that's why i stayed away from this movie you know i saw i saw ryan reynolds and i saw comedy and i got excited and that was a mistake What's the other Ryan Reynolds movie he's got that's kind of like this, where he's just playing Ryan Reynolds? Oh, yeah, like five uh, of these every come out movie? Recently. I don't, I don't know. Oh. There's a Adam there's Project. One. Yeah, 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 that one. I haven't seen that. Not yet, but shit, he, Tris will probably put it on the list sooner or later. No, yep. no, no. I would have put that on the list this time if I wanted uh, to put nah, it on the nah, list. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I did appreciate the Chris Evans cameo as well. Thought that was entertaining. So, can we talk about how much money they spent for like yes, a fucking we can. two minute bit? Yeah, dude. Yep. They, oh my lord, they paid Avengers. Not mm-hmm. only did they pay you know Marvel money for the song and Star the Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars song they and just, lightsaber. Disney yep. made so much money off that one bit. Fortnite fucking pickaxe. Yeah. Portal portal gun from Portal. And the grab gun from Half Life Two, that's that's funny. That was one of my least favorite scenes too. That whole like, fight with I guess that was The Rock, or I might be lying, but I they have The Rock in the credits, so I think that was his body. That would make sense, I, I guess. guess but, been, but but that was the shittiest fight scene I didn't need. Yeah, 
A hundred percent. I just didn't know why that was necessary. I actually would rather have you. a fight scene between Antoine and the chick. <laughs> yeah, me too. That actually, crazy. But... He comes well, at her with what? the axe. Yeah. <laughs> what what person watches that and they're like, oh no, it's a lightsaber. Wow, that's cool. Oh wow, a pickaxe from Fortnite. Like maybe, maybe the lightsaber was cool, dude. Maybe opening weekend they popped for it. Like they were like, yeah, lightsaber. <laughs> I like, just I don't know, man. I'm being very harsh but hey, I at know the same time portal. i played portal dude the I, lightsaber I was cool lightsabers are always cool lightsabers are awesome man i don't like this context of it i need lightsabers in star wars i don't need it in a little comedy movie where they're just trying to make pop culture references again i'll mm. shout out though that they got that fancy remix at the end that was kind of cool oh uh, yeah 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 I, I like again. that fancy remix because it was like it was like sad fantasy agreed when you walk by every night, <laughs> little Rel just fucking died. I oh, get no. kind of sad inside. <laughs> Guy so fucking wet. Why did we even watch that? <laughs> <laughs> it uh, was a good time. Well, you can use the Jeremy Johns rating. Good time, no alcohol required. I'll use the Jeremy Johns dog shit rating. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, man. I just don't. I don't recommend this to anyone. No. Uh, if you want to have sexual intercourse and you need something to put on in the background, maybe Free Guy is the movie you put on. Like, uh, if if you want to keep having sexual intercourse with a new person that you're hooking up with, this is not the movie because they will look at you weird and be like, "Why the fuck is this on my TV right now?" Can that be our new rating system? Like, <laughs> fuck the numbers. <laughs> Can you no. have sex to this? <laughs> yeah, yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> Will you interrupt this movie for for relations or not? No, no, that's not the question. Can you or can't you? And Dude, then... the, the rating scale, man. The rating scale is going to be how good is the sex based on the movie. Oh, this would be like... This would be like... <laughs> no, man. <laughs> this I'm going to only <laughs> This gets a boost just from Ryan Reynolds, though. Does it? Oh. Hey, honestly, it might. Are you talking about the guy? Like, if you're not doing a good job, man, the chick sees, looks up, sees Ryan Reynolds, boom, bro. It's that's over good. For that, you. I, yeah, that's probably true, actually. <laughs> now that you say that, but why not with you? Like, if you I'm struggling you. and I look up and I see Ryan Reynolds, that's new life. Yo, that's kind of crazy. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> And cut, and so we're back. <laughs> Happy. Never the mind. people agree with me. I don't know what people's. We'll see in the comment section for this. Maybe Ryan Reynolds yeah. watches it. Ryan Reynolds, I have an awesome movie for you, right? It's called Deadpool t- t- 3. So how yeah, about you yeah. just go ahead and stop making these and make Deadpool 3? But I bet that bag hits different, though. I'll say yeah. that much. Yeah. Didn't he hey, produce we will... this? <laughs> Did he? We'll write you a movie. I think Ryan. he produced this, so that bag really hits different. Yeah, true. That do be true. So I don't, I don't blame him. Two. Eight. Oh, my God. There's no way. Dude, this is an eight? Yeah. Sorry for everybody's ears. I just demolished from my no, peaking bro, right I there. But, oh, my God. That no way. Dude, I, I have a very large bar on my screen i'm so sorry but dude an eight yeah dude i thought it was good you gave doom patrol one eight throughout its entire run you've been smoking something different this year. i <laughs> yeah, can't yeah, lie yeah, man. Yeah, no, this, was a, this was a different kind of eight though you gave death of a dial a seven yeah spirit of awake on a six and a half Bro, i gotta turn this off you oh, man. It's free just the... guy in eight, but Spirited Away a six and a half? Spirited Away was kind of rough. I'm not going to lie This to movie was wow. as good as Jujutsu Kaisen to you? Wow. No, this movie was purely for entertainment purposes. It was not, it was not, it was not good. As good goes. This movie was just as good as Chestnut Man to you. This movie was worse than C-Chronic. <laughs> the same as Kaguya-sama. Oh my god. God. Look, man, I rate different things on different bases. I rated this purely on entertainment. You've been smoking so much crack. This <laughs> I know. Year. I'm looking through the list right now. I'm like, wow, this is this is crazy. I'm I can't believe you gave it. 
this movie was <laughs> good. You gave Eternals a five. You gave Eternals a five, because I enjoyed it. Well, Eternals was garbage. Yeah, I know. Give it a two. Yeah, I gave it like a two or a three. I don't remember. Um, I'm sorry. This this was mainly for us, so I don't think anyone cares about the ratings for that. No, shit, not at all. I'm sorry. I was just kind of hurt by the eight. Like that's kind of crazy. Don't worry. I it's not gonna wanna... be. It's not gonna be on my top movies list at the end of the year. Don't I don't want to talk about what's gonna be our top yeah. movies because it's gonna be me and Eli in one world and you yeah. in a different universe. No, Dude, I don't no, know. no, it won't be that. <laughs> I don't bad. know how many things we've watched where me and Reek's score doesn't even equate to your score. Like, I mean, I, we we could take my two. And reeks three, and still have three points in between our ratings and yours. Like that's nuts to me. Look, man, I thought it was entertaining. We we could have a fourth podcast member, and your score still might be higher than all three of our ratings fucking combined. That's nuts. Holy shit, man! <laughs> I'm glad get, you enjoyed it, though. I will say, I gotta get something objectively bad then, like. There's I, no way I'll get something that's like a one and just be like, damn, bro, that was hey, fire as fuck. Watching, seven and a half. We're, we're watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre, bro. You don't gotta look. Hey, what, I might end up giving that a high score depending what, on how bad it's it gonna is. get higher than this. What do we sure. end up giving the babysitter? Because that was objectively bad. No, it but, bro. No, it wasn't. It was better oh, than no. this. Both of them were better than. <laughs> yeah, this. yeah. It was also very entertaining. So I'm gonna the give it that. The first one was like time. a nine, dude. The first one's fantastic. <laughs> Six, nine. nine. You guys also yeah, dude, gave Monkey a ten just because they fought. It is a ten. Just because they dude. fought. It was so good, That's it. bro. No, the movie was terrible, but but they had no. great fights. If Monkey had a gun, that would have been an eleven. <clears throat> That's fact. If yeah, Cartel but not because the movie was good. If Cartel Monkey doesn't make an appearance in the next Godzilla vs. Monkey, is did they even have made one? Dude, not Cartel Monkey. See, all right. Now I gotta break down the story, right? If you guys haven't, you know, Google, I, yeah, go, Google monkey in a in a, a, a bulletproof vest, bro. Because I'm a, I'm gonna be newscast Eli here for a second. There's a cartel shootout, right? There's a monkey in a bulletproof vest that got shot down. R.I.P. My boy. But that that's crazy to me. And if he's not in the next Godzilla versus Kong versus monkey in the cartel, then the, I don't want it, man. Bro, but like, don't make him big though. Just make him normal monk, like tiny Just, monkey yeah, size. Shoulder monkey. And he climbs on top of Godzilla with the big ass AK. Dude, and yes. Like, <laughs> just shoots one in his eye like, da, 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 da. and then he like comes in, he's like, ah, and then monkey comes in and hits him with the fucking spear and then the power bomb. Like, it's like Bowser and Bowser Jr. Except it's Monkey and Monkey Jr. That would be Diddy Kong Eleven, easy. Dude, oh, easily, all yeah. Do that, is just that, fuck what they did last time. Just have Godzilla and Monkey do wrestling moves. Exactly. <laughs> like, let me see him hit an attitude adjustment. I want to <laughs> see Godzilla lock in the Figure Four leg lock. I want to see and King Kong Spanish hit, Fly, bro. Like, <laughs> I want to see King Kong hit the Sweet Chin music. Bro, and then Godzilla hits a Spanish fly, and then he kicks out at two. So, <laughs> oh my, my god! god. This see, is the greatest but that's ever. that's not because that's not because that's a good movie. It's because we want to see that. That's an entertainment, man. That's exactly. You were not an eight out of ten entertained. I don't believe I you. was. You were okay. An eight out of ten for me is like I have my phone sitting down and I'm paying attention. Yeah, to where that was movie. your phone at during this? Yeah, it was not. In my hands, except Bullshit. to take notes. I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all, bro. Because when we watched Mortal Jesus. Kombat, bro, Mortal Kombat was way more entertaining than this, objectively. Yes. And, and and you had your phone open the entire movie. Yeah, it was it was not as entertaining to me. Damn, you mean man. Jack's going, yeah. Okay, yeah. that was crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. Wait, <laughs> He said, I'm going to suck your homie's soul. Yeah, I'm going to suck his <laughs> that, soul. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, 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 not, that's not more entertaining. Oh, man. Jax alone did not make up for the whole movie. Jax alone is better in this entire movie. Oh, Facts. <laughs> if he fought Jax at the end, I might have considered this better. I could watch Jax going, you, you, for two hours, and I would have been more entertained <laughs> than this Jax fucking movie. If Jax came out man. with metal arms, and he, like, clanked up together and said, it's playtime, and then go <laughs> yeah, and they start fighting. This would get three extra points for me. <laughs> this would have been a six easily. All they had to do in this movie is bring out Jax to go yeah yeah catchphrase, and then <laughs> they would have been fine, man. 
it's Jack's time. Like, that's it. <laughs> Boom. Seven. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for our little comedy bit. If you guys want to check out our stand-up, you can come to... Copenhagen. Spring Falls, Idaho. <laughs> hey. We'll be protesting the recent overturning laws. Yes, we will. We here at the Binge Boys, despite the cringy frat That's boy damn right. name. That's damn right, Reek. Tell them. Don't em. give a fuck what the government has to say about That's abortion. That's damn right, Reek. You tell them. Go fuck yourself. Thankfully, we live in one of the couple states that are not pussies and kept the rights in order. And yes, I will use my platform to say that. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Absolutely. Hey. And I will be voting come every year to keep you motherfuckers away from power. <laughs> That's some damn facts, man. I, I from the binge voice from me. I apologize to all women out there, man, because that's just better. fucked. That's just fucked. None of like us. I said, despite the frat boy name, we are we very much care about humans' rights. Yeah, that's absolutely. Yeah. Eth- we are very ethical people, believe it or not. Shockingly, despite the comments, we <laughs> say on very, 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 very <laughs> shockingly. Yeah, I'm actually we're very, we're very, we're very nice people. It's all guys, dude. <laughs> Look, none of us have uteruses. Uh, <laughs> none of us yeah. have a uterus. And so we all understand that that's not our choice at all. We don't have a say in it. It's it's up to you. Okay? Never us. Well, it's not just that. We're an ally, bro. Like We're here to fight for yeah. you. Fuck all that's that facts. noise. Fuck the government. Hey, yo. I would make some more comments, but we're probably going to get blocked by the FCC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know they're listening uh, to my place shit parties already. I, I was gonna say we're already getting canceled for that little five minute gap, but I don't care, man. If that's what it is, that's what it is, bro. I'd rather be honest about it. Yeah, facts, because like that's bullshit. We got yep. we got you know siblings, family members, things like that. I know I'd be upset, so don't be a Ooh, loser dude. ass bitch <laughs> and say yeah. some dumb hey. shit like it shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> hey, and if you don't hear from us, like if, if this is the reason we're canceled, just know that free speech don't exist. Facts. That is fact. <laughs> so we got to wrap today up. If you would like to hear more radicalized opinions about <laughs> less political topics, you can check out our Twitter at oh, B-I-N-G, yeah. B-O-I-S, where we sometimes tweet about our ridiculous opinions on TV shows, movies, and sporting events because we are also the sport boys. Like this uh, pay-per-view tomorrow. Oh, yeah. If you would like to hear our – well, it would be yesterday, brother. Yesterday. That pay-per-view is crazy. Yeah, man, I can't believe Jay White retained. Okada should have won, bitch. Um, and I can't believe Mox is interim champ. I saw it coming a mile away. Besides that, if you want to see picture images of each episode where you get a little tiny sneak peek of what we're viewing and how I edited it so prettily, you can go to our Instagram where we post that all the fucking time. We respond to comments there. It's our biggest social media platform for us personally. So if we easiest place to get a hold of us is probably Instagram. Yes. And if you and that's at D A B I N G B O I S, that's D instead of D because we are dumb asses. If you would like to see poopy videos we make every quarter, <laughs> one a quarter <laughs> at best, you can go to our TikTok. That's TikTok at D A B I N G B O I S, where three 20 year old plus men try to keep in touch with 12 year olds and under. Uh, nah. Entertainment wise. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Came out weird. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't do the touching. No, we say the Catholic priests already have us beat. Yes, uh, facts. <laughs> boom! The bitch boys are firing shots. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, that's about it. Come check out July fourth for Peaky Bruv season one, and come. Check out our next episode, which will be Paradise on HB. Pay us more if you want the full name. I don't know how well that series will go, but hopefully good. Yeah. Smile. Pain. I hope so, man. Yep, very but much so. But if you guys don't give a shit about what we have to say about anything at all, you can still come back here and listen to us even some more. And we appreciate it. So we just want to remind you guys that the three idiots here with you today of them, I was Enrique. I was Eli. And I'm Tristan. And I want you to remember that this movie should have been free. Guy. Guy. Guy.